everyone, my name is Iris Franz. Today we're going to talk about the structure of the balance of payments. In particular, I'm going to talk about the current account and the capital and financial account. We will start with the current account. The current account has three major components. The first is goods and service balance, and we have income balance, and finally we have unilateral transfers. So what is goods and service balance? It is a sum of merchandise trade balance and service balance. So merchandise trade balance is merchandise export minus merchandise import. What about service balance? It's a service export minus service import. So you'll be asking, how can we ask for our service? Well, if there is a foreign um, patient coming to the United States to get cancer treatment, then this foreign patient will have to pay for the service, the cancer treatment he or she receives, say, in uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center, then that will be our service export. So service export minus service import will be our service balance. And summing up merchandise trade balance and service balance, then you will get good and service balance. The second is income balance. So income balance is equal to income receipts minus income payments. So what is income receipts? Suppose we have some uh, U.S. resident holding on to a Chinese stock. And when the Chinese firm is paying dividends to the U.S. resident, then there will be our income receipts. What about income payment? So um, suppose there is a European investor, and this European investor has some Apple stock. And when Apple is paying dividends to this European investor, then there will be our income payment. So you get it, income receipts minus income payment will be equal to our income balance. And the last item in your lateral transfers is the sum of government transfers and private transfers. In general, this item for us, United States, is negative because U.S. is a very rich country. So in general, U.S. gives uh, foreigners more than foreigners give the U.S. It's not because others are trying to take advantage of us. It's just because U.S. in general is a very wealthy country. So that's uh, um, our current account. Moving on to capital and financial account. Capital and financial account consists of two uh, main items. So private sector financial transactions and official settlement transactions. So um, private sector financial transactions consists of three major things. The red investment, that's when you purchase more than 10% of stock of a firm, then you can control the firm. That's called the red investment. And the second one is securities. Say um, you purchase foreign treasury bills, and treasury notes, or foreigners buying our treasury bills and treasury notes. That will be the securities. And uh, finally, bank claims liabilities that include some loans, um, um, certificate of deposits, things of that sort. And moving on to official settlement transactions, um, the definition of that is just very simple. It's just a movement of financial assets between official holders. So what are some official holders? It could be the Federal Reserves of the United States, or it could be uh, Bank of England. So the government, basically. And uh, finally, we know that there are millions and millions of transactions. So it is difficult for us to balance the balance sheet. And therefore, we invent this uh, statistical discrepancy item just to make sure that your capital account is balanced with uh, capital and financial account. So that is an overview of the structure of our balance of payments. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.